This is my cousin, Elke. Let's do Bridget Bardo, Angelina Jolie. You know, the, the eyes, the lashes, the brows. It sounds wonderful. Starting with eyes first, I'm using concealer. We're going to just conceal the inner eye to make sure it's bright and any places veins might show through. Next, I'm going to use a taupe eyeshadow. We're going to give definition to the eye without getting too dark. See, I'm placing the brush on the eyelid, tapping that product into the skin rather than wiping it on. Stop. <laughs> Here I'm using a soft angle brush and putting the top eyeshadow under the eye as well to create further definition. Next I'm using a metallic grey colour. We're going to use that above Elkie's socket so that you can see the definition when she opens her eyes. Remember girls, we're going for sexy, not drag queen. Note how I'm blending all these colours. You don't want to have harsh lines. Everything needs to look seamless. Now we're going to define the brows with a blonde eyeshadow. We're using an angle brush with firm bristles. That gives you more control of where you're putting the shadow. I use eyeshadow because it gives you a softer brow look. It doesn't look harsh like your Birch and Ernie or Groucho Marx, which is preferable. To define the ends of your brows, we're using Fling by MAC. It's a nice fine tip pencil that gives you that little edge at the end so it doesn't look like your eyebrows just stop. They need to graduate. Now I'm using a clear eyebrow gel to set the brows, but don't worry, you can use hair gel. Next I'm using the Bobbi Brown gel liner and an art brush. Make sure you get the angle right. It can be either from the side of your nostril or the tip of your nose to the edge of your brow. Make sure you get the liner right down to the lash line. And then what you want to do is when you've got the line right, make sure that the edge of it is nice and straight, as in no feathering on the eye. And if you've come to that sad day when you realise you're losing that elastin in your eyelids, don't fret girls, use liquid liner. To try and get the angle right, keep your eyes open and then work on trying to get the line right. To make sure that we're drawing the whole eye upward, we're going to put a little bit of black liner underneath but a very tiny bit and only on the very outer corner of the eye. And don't forget to draw that line from the inner eye right to the very top so it looks seamless. Now we're going to clean up our base under the eyes and put moisturiser on. Next, foundation. With an acrylic foundation brush, you're going to apply the product to the centre of your face and work your way out. They say With a clean, natural, fluffy brush, buff the product in. If you don't have one of these, use your fingers to blend your foundation. To put that to look like you've had that perfect night's sleep, conceal under the eyes and then around the nose and on any pimples or blemishes. To set your foundation or take away shine, use loose powder. I'm using a small brush and just putting it where I need it. That way it doesn't look too heavy. With a light film of loose powder, don't forget to set your concealer with your finger. For a nice warm glow, we're using a peachy toned blush. We're using that just on the apples of the cheeks and up to the cheekbones. But make sure that you blend very well. 
For this look, the thicker the lash, the better. So we're doing our first coat of black mascara. Here's a little makeup artist trick. While the mascara is still wet, get some powder, put it on a brush and just coat your lashes with it. That will make thin lashes thicker. Ladies, don't forget to curl. That's one of the most important ways to make your lashes look longer. Here comes our second coat of mascara. Want to avoid that Tammy Faye Baker look? Make sure that you comb through while your mascara is still wet. Of course, this look wouldn't be complete without individuals. If you don't know what individuals are, they're like mini little wigs that you put on your eyes. Sometimes they can get away from you. <laughs> Apologies for my horrible laugh, I had a bad cold. Use tweezers to set your individuals in place and please don't stick your eyes together. The finishing touch is black eyeliner to the very corner of your eye and some final coats of mascara to combine the individuals with your own lashes. For this Frenchy look we're using a nude one shade darker than your lip colour and finishing with some lip gloss which you'll tap into your lip. Yep. Kiss, like kiss, like a fat smoochy kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel like Bridget Butter? Oui. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, I sound sweet. like Mutley. <laughs> <laughs> oh.